Oh, we're all right. We're, we're still on. That should be good enough for there. Is that not good enough for there? Oh, that's why I just want to click on that. We had a power cut. See, that, that that's how lucky I am. We had a power cut. Double check that we're, we're live again. Your channel. We're about 16 lives now. Just in case anybody comes back on so I can explain that we were. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. That's there, so that just needs to be made big. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's move me. Uh... So, if you was just watching there and you wondered why we were talking about computers and all of a sudden it all went kaputted, that was uh, because I need to delete this um, this video before it's rendered. <laughs> Videos. Yeah, so I, I, I'm just seeing if anybody comes back. If they don't come back in, I will explain to them. Processing video, we need to just get that one and delete. Before it... Um... Must be a delete button on it. I told Mac, hope you're okay, buddy. I, I'm just saying we've, we've just been live because I was testing from last night. We had a bit of a, a, a problem. Um, so I just wanted to delete this other one as well. Put it to private anyway. So it won't go out anyway. Yeah, so <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, we uh, it, it just popped off. So I just wanted, if anybody else popped back on again, just to let them know. We had a, a for some reason, either a power surge or something. Everything just went off. I thought we'd not paid the electric bill and they were gonna they were gonna turn us off. But yes, this was from uh, last night. We we had a bit of a, a, a problem. Where have we got? Let's get this on to to YouTube. There we go. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a. I see Chris Hill, I hope you're okay. I'm all right now. Like I said, we had a bit of a problem. <laughs> Get that to the... Um, very, very weird. Very weird. YouTube. Uh, videos. Should be set to private live. Yeah, it just, it just sort of just popped off. The electric. And I thought, what's happening here? We were just talking about computers as well, which was uh, which is quite funny. That's set to private. Is that the right one? Yeah, 15 minutes, right? We'll delete that. That one needs deleting. There we go. I understand that. That's the one we did for 15 minutes. There we go. We've still got the show. As long as I don't do the show from last night, we're all right. <clears throat> yeah, Tom, okay, I've got a surge protector. It's actually built into my um, four ways. So there's uh, two four ways that go from there, and the four ways that I've actually got, I've got an inbuilt um, surge protector. <clears throat> a lot of my sort of this sort of stuff that I've got, um, it all comes like it's normally uh, my old DJing stuff that I, when I re update my wires and my four ways and stuff, I bring them here and use them. Because I update them quite a lot when we do the pack testing. So, yeah, they've got surge protectors on them. Uh, what am I vaping on? I've got the uh, Vapor SO Swag 2. I'm really enjoying this. We were talking about puff counters. I'm just short of 3,000 puffs on this. And the coil's still going strong. Really nice flavour at it. 55 watts. And in there, I've got a little bit of... Uh, obviously, we're do, do, doing this search for the Perf Experiment. This is the Rodeo E-Liquid Experiment one. Review coming out for this on... Saturday, I think. And then I've got the little Vapor SO pod system, oh small. Uh, in that, I've got some mango ice from Pod Salt. That's coming out tonight. So, Pav, it, I'll tell you what happened. 
all the electric went off in the entire house. We were just talking about computers, and I thought, oh, no, what's happened? And I thought it was the computer to start off with. Well, no, it won't. And it, but I'll tell you what it did give me a chance to do was make sure that it actually went live again. So, yes, yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. Matthew Woodward, hope you're okay, buddy. Um, <coughs> it doesn't seem like I've left you long ago. I think it was about one o'clock in the morning when I left you this morning on the live show. Adi Vodka, nice to see you, brother. Hope you're okay. Good afternoon and hello from Dubai. Obviously, they'll all be on lockdown in Dubai as well, won't they? Yeah, it's, it won't long ago, were it, mate, on the on the live, live show. But yeah, Pav, let me know about that. I haven't got a clue what it does, mate. Um, you, you'll have to fill me in, send me a message. I've still got to sort out this Patreon of where I can put a video up. I'm, I'm going to get in touch with Devil Vapor. Uh, I've tried about three or four times now to stick videos up of reviews that are coming up so you lot get to see it first. Chris Doyle, nice to see you, brother. Hope you're okay. Yo, yo, yo. Um... So you lot get to see it first. And also other videos that I've recorded and it just doesn't seem to work. Because they either want you to get that Vimo um, and you've got to pay for that Vimo or I want to just be able to put it up to my channel and use the HTTP um, from, from YouTube. But when I've got it set to private, it must not be going through to Patreon. So yeah. So there's a curfew on. 8pm while 6am for everybody. I think that might be a good idea here to maybe put a curfew on and say to people not to be able to go out from this time to that time. Um, I know they have been saying a, a lot of people that um, it's going to get worse before it gets better, which is, is very, very sad. It, it's, it's just a very weird feeling. Waking up and thinking, and, and my street, where, where I am, it's like sort of off of a main road and there's a working men's club over the road and there's a pub that side and... Normally, there's people up and down it all the time, but it's absolutely so dead. It's just so so strange. And the thing about it in Dubai as well. Pav, you're an absolute star, buddy. You're an absolute star. You do look after me, bro. I can't wait. I'm, I'm so hoping October's on. I am so hoping October's on. Um, Part of me wish I went to the London Vape Show now, but again... With the coronavirus and also we had the storm and all the trains were, were sort of like being cancelled. I didn't want to get stuck in London, but a part of me wish I went to that now. Um, the Scottish meet, I think, is off as well. Can't see that coming in June. UK Andy, are you okay, brother? We're just doing a little bit of a test. Yeah, we we should do it. A really limited amount of people in supermarkets makes me anxious because the wife and daughter are... Class is vulnerable, yeah. I still have to activate my Zoom as I bought one the other day. Yeah, and I, I can walk up the hardware, build them, etc. When it comes to software, I'm there. Uh, I'm alright with the software bit of it. it I'm not, I'm, I'm, and simple building bits in it, but the rest of it, I'm, I'm not the greatest of it. My wife went to, um, to the Lidl. Now, she's actually, should be having the 12-week lockdown, but she, she had to go and get some, some food. Um, it was... Yeah, the little week yesterday, and she she sort of like she didn't meet her mum. Um, her mum lives literally around the corner. Now the little's not very far away, and she wanted to get a bit of fresh air. She said it's like like being cooped up. So she went, and uh, she got to an aisle, and this bloke old bloke started tapping her foot behind her, saying because she was looking at some like uh, pasta sauces or something like that, and he, he had a right go with her, so she had to go back. It's a good job I went to that. I'd, I'd, I'd have slapped him. I'm terrible with stuff like that. I think people are in such a, a blinkered way. I think that a lot of people have lost their manners. But yeah, I hope October's on. I've already booked the hotel. Um, we'll have a, a bit of a beer, Pav. That, that was one of the funniest things. If you go back to the, the vlog, I think it was October. There's me, Pav, and Orion's Braces, Alan, and we sit down to have a beer. And I've put my camera up and recording us having a beer. And I go to sit down on this chair and it had already been broken. But what they've done was they straightened the legs out. So I've sat on it, bang, straight over. Arse of a tip. Uh, UK Andy who lives in Birmingham. Um, October is doubtful. The NEC is being converted into an emergency hospital. Yeah, yep. How many months is October? We're in April, so that's May, June, July, August, September, October. Six months away.
Yeah, I'll tell you what, Tom, Mark, I've, I've known him for, for quite a while and spent a lot of expos uh, walking around with Alan. He is such a lovely bloke. Uh, me and Mark, uh, so long when we walked around together, because me and Mark don't really walk around together now. He normally walks around with BFG, uh, and I know we, we still talk, obviously, when we're there and have a beer on a night time. But I normally either walk around with um, Paul McCartney if he's there, or the lads from Sabs. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Pav, it did. The earth shook in Birmingham that day, it did. It was funny as hell. And we got it on camera, which was good. But I tell you what, Pav, I've got to give I've got to put thumbs up to you, buddy. You you straight away got up to try and get me up. It was just so funny. The the, the best thing about it was we, we didn't we didn't like put it to the side so nobody else did. We straightened it out so so somebody else had sit on it and fall over. We shouldn't have done that really. Somebody could have hurt themselves, but yeah, it, it was quite funny. I did enjoy that. It was a good giggle. Um, I'll tell you what, they have set up here as well. Um, uh, the police have set up uh, checking cars where people are going. Why are you going down here and what are you are doing? Yeah, very scary times. And in Italy, the, the, the proper stopping people from going out, aren't they? Yeah, Alan is a true gentleman and a diamond geezer he is. Uh, when we went to the... We, me and Mark was vape finder reviewers, and when they did the vape finder um, show in London, I think it was the Olympia. Uh, Alan come and got us and took us all the way down there on, on the um, on the underground, took us on the tube and sorted us all out and made sure we got there and back on time and everything. He is a true gentleman. He's got a wicked sense of humour as well. I've had some really good giggles with him. One of the best stories with Alan. We went to one of the expos, I can't remember, maybe a couple of years back, and it was just as like the CBD stuff was coming out like. And we went to this one stand, and they had these pens, and these pens you could get them for well-being, to go to sleep, uh, to help you eat or help your diet, um, help your sex life, and all these bits of things. And they were like these little tiny thin pens. So she gives us all the spiel, and we did tell her that I were a reviewer, and she was like, do you do you want to review? And it's like, well, I can't really review it on my channel because they're taking all the channels down because of its, its simida. So anyway, me and, uh, me and Orion's braces, we tried this. had a couple of um, draws on it, and then we finished, and I could just feel it coming through me. And I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, it's like just having a spliff. It felt like you'd had a spliff. And I looked at <laughs> me and Orion walked off, and we looked at each other, I went, Mate, is that it? You we went here as and we started we got the giggles. We're walking around the corner with the giggles. Um, we ended up sitting back down and got the munchies as well, but it was just so funny. As well as um Jules Mama Vapes and Stevie, they went and had some as well. They had to come down, sit down, it made them feel a bit poorly. They were selling it thirty pound a pen. How they got away with it, it must have had THC in it for you to make you feel like that. Um how they got away with it, I haven't got a clue. But yeah, they had a little stand. Just near the bar as well. Yeah, that did make me laugh. Well, this all seems to be working. I do thank everybody for, for hanging around and coming back. I, just, I wouldn't have normally come back when it all when the electric went, but I just thought I'd come back and say thank you very much. Um, so it looks like I, if, if it happens again, I, I just need to change the stream key. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn the computer off, restart the computer, change the stream key, put a new stream key in there, and then go again. I think that might be a fix. So, <laughs> yeah, UK Andy were off his trolley on that stuff. Just, it, I couldn't believe they got away with we, we, selling it there. Like I said, thirty pound a pen, and they give you so many cartridges. And it, it, like I say, it must have had THC in it. They're, they are, they're actually an American company. You do get a lot of American companies. Obviously, our, our maximum milligram that you can get is 20 milligram now. You do get a lot of American companies who come to the expo and you can get 50 milligram um, Nick. There were people selling the Nick salts and everything. Um, uh, 20 millig uh, Sorry, 50 milligram Nick. I've had a couple of a couple of pods with that in from America and, and places and it... Whew, don't know if make, make you, you don't need to be... It's like that. This has got 20 milligram. It's nice. Nice to see you, Gareth. Hope you're okay, buddy. Um, Matthew, what company is this? Must have been THC, CBW, wouldn't have, yeah, it wouldn't know. It was, it would definitely, it must have, I can't remember the company's name. I don't know if UK Andy can, but yeah, it, it would definitely got THC in it. 
because it wouldn't have give you that effect. It really made you feel like if you'd had a spliff or something like that, it really made you, and it sort of made you giggly as well. Um, yeah, very strange. But yeah, I've, like I've got 20 milligram in there. I quite like that in the morning, you know, sort of with your coffee to wake you up. Well, that 50 milligram, whew, give you a bit of a nick rush, that can. Give you a bit of a nick rush. Right then, people, I might, I might be uh, doing an afternoon giggle. I might not. I might do it. I've got a, a bit of a review to do. I'm just waiting for this new... Uh... Yeah, that was the stuff. Pab, that were the stuff, yeah. Everybody couldn't believe it. And Obviously, we've gone back to the reviewers area and gone to people, go and try that. Go and try that. And everybody did. Everybody went and had a try and they're all like, whoa. But yeah, how'd they get away with selling that <laughs> or, or, or even getting it in there? I remember as well when the TPD just come in, obviously it, it, it come in in the May, and then we had the Expo. Um, and there were still people selling 30 mils with nicotine in it. And it were like everybody were like going around trying to get it. I so missed that though. I, I so miss being able to get like a bottle with your nick in it. I'm, I'm so fed up with these damn nick shots. Um, say all you want about the Americans. I know they're losing the flavours and stuff like that, but at least they can still have nicotine in it. I would, I'd love to still be able to just have them 30 mil bottles or 100 mil bottles with Nick in it. Yeah, it did, mate. It, 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 Pav, it, it must, it, it surely it added it. And how they've got away with getting in there and, and not being reported. And, I, and I'll tell you what, it, it didn't look, how can I explain this? It didn't look seedy. The, the stand looked very professional. It had all the right leafleting. It didn't look like dodgy pods or anything. It looked good. It was funny though, it was. I just have 72 milligram free base nick in the fridge. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Uh, I got a load of Nick's, Nick's shots um, when I was last at Expo. And I, I think I've just run out, my last two, I've just run out. I put it into the, uh, the rodeo. But yeah, they, they had two girls there and a bloke and they were all dressed up in suits. It, it did look... Can you imagine that now? Can, do you know, obviously, they were American. Can you imagine that after everything that did happen in America? You know, that where it was sort of like dodgy THC pods um, with, with the uh, vitamin E in it. Can you imagine that now? Because nobody would have touched it, would they? Or anybody with half a brain cell wouldn't have touched it. Because you wouldn't have known what had come over from there. Uh, Matthew says, uh, me too, DIY now, uh, in hand, start again, Aiden. Me too, I DIY now, uh, came in handy with lockdown to save money, made a, a whole load of uh, MTL 12 milligram to tie me over. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, it's the way to, and, and especially nowadays, if you're not that confident at mixing, another cup of, I want another cup of coffee. If you're not that confident at mixing, <coughs> You can just get these um, shake -ems. Just add them together, shake them, you've got your base, and then just mix it, and you're ready to go. <clears throat> there is a number of shows out there now, which I quite like about this DIYing. Um, you've obviously got your Carp Vapor, he does it, and then you've also got Benny Vapes, who's doing it as well. I don't know if... I, I, I've not seen any others doing it. Um, I think there is actually called a channel DIY. But yeah, they're doing it. So I do like when 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 people do shows like that show people how to to mix them i always said to jay um from jay's reviews he, he can build mods and I've, I've said to him build a mod and do a, like a weekly segment to it show people where you get the parts from and let them build their own mod i think that'd be a, a good show to do um i know proper coils is thinking about or, or he's getting the stuff ready together to show people how he makes his coils as well i like that i like the idea of that so yeah, if you haven't watched the the vlog, um, I've, I've we've got a channel sp uh, sponsor for coils, which is proper coils. So if you do want to use a, a discount code, it is Little Bro Vapes ten. We'll get you ten percent off. Yeah, let's pick in. He does some absolute corking stuff, and he is a really nice bloke. Um, me and Paul McCartney were talking that hopefully by October, he, Paul McCartney's coming down, and we're we're going to go down to his. Uh, to his actual shop and have a sit down there for a while. He's a really nice bloke. Uh, me and Benny Vapes were going to do it as well. <clears throat> go and call off at Lezzers. We're going to um, also we're going to go to um, Big D shop in Homefirth. We're we're going to go over there and maybe stay over the night and and have a beer. Anything to go out for a beer, you know what I'm like. 
Well, I've been going 20 minutes. Well, I did 15 minutes on the other one. Um, thank you so much for everybody just coming in. Um, it's, it's always nice, a little chat in the morning. Uh, I might, like, like I said, I might be going live this afternoon. I might do a little bit of a live this afternoon with a couple of people if they are about. You can also buy baked bean juice from Les, I'm sure. You can... <laughs> yeah, I think I've got a bottle of it here somewhere, mate. There's a bottle of it here. A little bit of yo 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 juice. You can get some uh, tic tac from there. Thanks a lot for keeping us entertained during this lockdown. Yeah, it's. I think we should do a little bit more of it. I might do a little, maybe do a couple of morning ones uh, while I'm having my coffee. I'm just waiting for the postman to come. He's going to be bringing my um, my new graphics card. I'm going to put that in and then do a um, review, which I am reviewing the X Hubble. Some plastic shit from Vaptio, uh, touch screen. I'm not going to tell you all about it, but that'll probably tell you with that little gap there. But yeah, so that 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 one will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, then the, the swag out on Sunday. I've got a couple of juice reviews in between there. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm, get, I'm trying to get a little bit further in front with me, me actual reviews. Mate, it's only a cheap graphic card. What what I did was um, some nice people sorted me out a computer, and um, my graphics card is just a a, a, a Nvidia seven ten. It's only one gigabyte. Now I'd save some money to get a graphics card, but I ended up updating my actual uh, editing software. Went to try and edit on it, and the graphics card wasn't good enough for it. It needed a minimum of two gigabytes. So. Obviously, it's a little bit tight at minute with with work and everything. All my work's been cancelled because I'm self-employed, so it, I, I needed a graphics card. So I just got a cheapy one. I think it's uh, either a seven forty or seven sixteen Nvidia. Um, I think it's uh, four gigabyte. So it's it's just something just to get me through. It's not a, a an amazing one, but as as time goes by, I'll uh, I'll save up and get that. That's what a lot of people don't don't not really realise with with this review. And I think you just plug things in and you. You're off, but it isn't quite like that. It isn't quite like that. You've got to pay, pay for your lights, computers, etc. And I am very lucky. I've got some wonderful Patreons as well who, who look after me. Right then, people. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a really good day. Look after yourselves. Wash your hands. Stay indoors unless you don't have to go out and do some shopping. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all later. Thank you so much for this test. And we'll see you later, people. Have a good one.